Hello everyone, I have started my adventure to Madagascar. I am flying today. I am just in Bahrain airport. It was a bit of a rocky start, mainly because they wouldn't print off my other two boarding passes because apparently the flight is overbooked, but it's okay because 10 people are not gonna be there or be bumped up which means I'm going to get a seat so I don't need to worry. I did call the supervisor to make sure that I will be on that flight. This happened to me before, a few months ago. I do not want that to happen to me again. I don't want to miss my flight because I've only got about an hour to get to my next flight. So I need to go to the Etihad Dex, print out my next two boarding passes, or probably one because the other one I will have to do in Seychelles. And then off I go. I land in Seychelles today, but I don't get to leave the airport, which is a kind of a shame, but I'll leave Seychelles for another day. But I hope you enjoy this flight to, uh, to Madagascar from the plane. I didn't have to go through all the stress of working out where my ticket was. I've got it. I am now going to the gate now. Uh, we arrived 10 minutes early, which is unheard of. It's usually one of the most delayed flights. The one to Abu Dhabi is always, always, always delayed. So I'm actually really happy right now. And everything's going amazing. I hate it. I hate it when you're just about to fall asleep on a plane and you have to wake up because it's a short journey. That's what always happens to me in Abu Dhabi. I always nearly fall asleep. Like and my eyes are like drooping and then I have to wake up and do all this. So I've landed in Seychelles. I'm really upset because I didn't have a window seat for the whole journey and it was the most beautiful sunrise that I've seen in a long time. But I couldn't film it because I was in the aisle and I hate, hate, hate being in the aisle because it's so uncomfortable and I always have to get up and let people out. I just much prefer the window seat because you get the view as well. Um, but it had some autumn clouds as well, which I was really annoyed that I missed. But coming into Seychelles was incredible. I like, wow, I don't want to leave here and go to Madagascar because that was incredible. I want to go explore Seychelles, but I can't, so I'll have to leave it for another time. The airport is tiny and they have Wi-Fi, so I was able to talk to Leon for a tiny bit. I'm going to see if I can get back on to Viber and talk to him some more. Um, I'm really, really tired because every time I got to sleep, the air hostess would like wake me up and like, ask me if I wanted food or if I wanted this card, and I'm like, stop it, I'm trying to sleep. So I've got, I think, an hour and a bit to wait before my flight to Madagascar. And I have a window seat, which is good, so I can show you some more things from the window. And this thing swinging next to me is my mosquito net, which I made a cool invention to put up. But do you hear that? Not that. Oh, my word, there's this like really weak 
that noise and it creeps me out it's been happening all day and it sounded like it was on my door and it sounded like someone was brushing against my door trying to get in and now it's on the roof and then every now and again it'll be like screeching and I'm like is it a bird or oh it could be a bird oh that would make sense if it was a bird because there's a lot of like chick 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 but like scraping and oh it's an awful sound I've had a bit of an emotional day I've because I'm so tired I've just kind of broken down a few times today it happens to me whenever I go travel and to England or anywhere I get tired because I haven't been able to sleep on the plane and everything feels too much and I get really homesick so today every like half hour I'll be like fine and then something something will like make me want to cry again so that's what I've been dealing with today and the actual airport was kind of scary not as in everyone was being like scary but as in I didn't know what to do so it just kind of freaked me out a little bit but we sorted it I then exchanged my money which I will show you tomorrow I look like a billionaire. The Blue Ventures rep representative, Dave, picked me up and dropped me at the hotel. It's basic, but it's got some nice people. The only problem is, I didn't realise how much French they spoke. I guess that this hotel is a French hotel, which is probably why everyone staying here is actually French. I can't remember my French. Or when I do, I say it right in my head, and as soon as I speak it, it doesn't come out how I thought about it in my head, which is the correct way. So, I've been getting some funny looks off the waiters. I can't tell if they're amused, or if they're annoyed, so we'll wait and see. I went and got internet on my phone, which made me feel a lot better, because I can now communicate, and... I think that was one of the things that was really worrying me is having no communication for like six weeks which I know wasn't going to happen but um, I just really need to be in contact with my aunt and my mum and my sister and it just keeps me going. So that was my first day in Madagascar. I haven't seen much because I can't really go out. Uh, Antanarivo which is the capital is about 45 minutes drive from here which means I can't really go and according to the travel guidebook if it's trafficy, which it usually is it could take you up to five hours to get there but my whole trip starts on the day after that early early in the morning I think we have to leave at seven o'clock I hope you enjoyed this video it was very mismatched can't wait to see what else is in Madagascar apart from power cuts <laughs> I miss you all and I will see you soon whenever the next video will be. Goodbye. <laughs>